Hello everybody, this is AJ from PitchPanda.com. I'm the founder, I've been in the link building industry for over 10 years. Most of what I do is related to link building outreach. And getting a guest post pitch seen, replied to, accepted is one of the hardest things in link building. Now it's easy to just get any old guest pitch and pay $100 get get that accepted but actually getting onto a blog that's coveted that's hard to get onto getting those responses is damn near impossible for some people but we've created kind of a, a template that does really really well and if you're watching this video you're interested in doing the outreach and I'm going to show you the exact step-by-step -step template that you should put together okay why listen to us well just over the past several months we built over 500 guest posts on behalf of our clients. This is across all niches, finance, travel, e-commerce, marketing, even in the adult space. And this same guest post template works across all industries. And we're talking high-end websites, tons of traffic, high editorial control. Our response rates from this type of outreach have been 15%. And your goal, our goal, our goal to get you to be able to get accepted by people that you reach out to, okay? Not the people who are going to reply with uh, a number, but people who are going to say, sure, I'm interested in your content. This looks good. You look like the kind of person that we want to feature on our blog, okay? So without much more preamble than that, what I've done is I've broken down the anatomy of a fantastic guest post into several sections. And uh, I'll take a slide to break each one of them down, but I'll just cover them really quickly here so you get a full A to Z kind of viewpoint. Starts with a subject. Subject got to be personalized. And you start an email with that person's name, just so you know, just so they know that you've done at least some basic, basic research. Oh, and by the way, I have a fully automated system that I'll show you at the end of the video to show you how you can automate all of the personalization that I'm about to show you. So don't get crazy discouraged and be like, yeah, of course, if everyone personalizes every single email, then yeah, they'll get responses. The secret is that these just look like they're personalized, but with the help of AI, you can do thousands of these in just seconds. All right, start with a name, then introduce yourself. Some people say in a cold email, you should never talk about yourself. You should only talk about the person. Well, in this case, you, the thing you're selling is yourself. The thing that they want, you already know they want it because they have a blog on their website. So the thing you're selling now is yourself. It's okay to introduce yourself. So you're not just some random person, but you're an awesome person. Express that you're interested in guest posting. Link to a sample. Ask about their policy. Suggest the topic as a next step. And then do an open-ended offer to give them something in return just so they know that you're not just looking for things without anything to offer in return. And then there's something special about the signature that's going to make a big difference. Now, I've listed a bunch of obvious things, but the devil is in the details. So we're going to get into the details and we're going to show you a couple examples. Now, my, I've tested so many different uh, subject kind of strategies. I've, I've, I've tested like the quick question, the collaboration, like the general, the open end, and just the name. Um, and what I've found works the best is first name, some words, company name, okay? That shows two levels of personalization, first name, company name. Now, sometimes a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll do, um, they'll like put the, the website URL in the subject. They'll do like guest post for www.linkio.com. Well, I already know that that's obviously just a merge tag because finding someone's company name is, is harder than just putting in a domain name. Or it used to be harder. Now it's automatic with AI. Anyway, something like this works pretty well. Start the email with hello, first name, or change it up a little bit. Hi, hey, or first name slash some, exp some you know, excited thing to greet them with. Quick blurb about you. My name is your full name. And I am the founder of Pitch Panda. Da, 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 da. And I specialize in, and this is my one of my favorite parts, specialize in buzzword one, buzzword two, buzzword three. Now, when someone's giving me a guest post pitch, I only write about certain things. People who have a nice blog, they only write about certain things. In your first paragraph, in your first line, if you mention you're an expert on the exact things they write about, that is a bonus for you. You can automate this whole thing with AI. Moving on. Express that you're interested. So I came across company name 
and I thought it might be a great opportunity for us to collaborate. With my extensive experience in Buzzword 1, Buzzword 2, I can offer something unique and valuable to your readers. Okay, Just because it's content doesn't mean it's good content. So talk a little bit about what makes your content interesting. Here I like to put, my writing style strikes a balance between casual and professional, making it informative and engaging. In the next part, I'm going to link to some kind of sample so they can actually see what's going on. Now, what I like to do uh, is link to a Google Doc of my article. And this Google Doc is going to be formatted perfectly. It's going to have line breaks everywhere. It's going to be easy to read, easy to, easy to digest. And it's got custom images that they aren't just stock images of a guy in a suitcase, in a suit holding a briefcase. They're, they're custom. They're relevant to their helping to expand on whatever the article is talking about. These little details. Again, we're just talking about details. Uh, every single guest post pitch is going to tell you to include some samples, but it's the type of sample. The type of sample, when someone looks at it, they say, wow, this is actually really good content. Okay. Next. Follow that up with asking about their policy. I would be delighted to contribute a guest post to your blog. What are your thoughts on guest content? Very simple, very straightforward. If you're open to the idea, as we suggest the next step, I'd be happy to pitch some topics. And then it, so we don't seem like we're just asking and not receiving. We just say, of course, if there's anything I can do in return, let me know. Now, things you can do in return, if they're open to it, you know, you can get them a link somewhere in return. You can let them guest post on some site you have access to in return, or sometimes they won't ask for anything. Uh, you know, other ways to approach this is you could say you could be more explicit with what you want to offer. Um, I find being a little vague, but like being open to the idea does, does wonders. And when it comes to the subject, this is, this is an, this is a billboard. You know, this is not something that's necessarily related to your email, but this is a billboard that helps promote you or the persona that you're trying to portray. So you end it very professionally and you show all the basic kind of uh, quality check improvements. So full name, title, company. If you've got a tagline, use it. If you've got a nice LinkedIn profile, link to it. You've got your website, link to it. If you've got a phone number, hey, put it there. Even though probably no one's going to call you, they see, hey, this is a real person with a phone number. This is not some random Gmail with a random name and number attached to it. And uh, etiquette wise, sure, you can mark it as unsubscribe if you don't like it. Uh, the reason why I do this is because we send a lot of emails and I would prefer to have like a, a slightly lower response rate because people see the unsubscribe thing on the bottom and they just assume it's an automated email. I'd, I'd rather prefer that versus uh, a lot of people marking my mail as spam and then having to deal with deliverability issues. So that's that's the kind of the framework that I'm telling you. It works really, really, really well. And when you combine it all, you'll see it kind of tells a story and it works really well. So you know, you could just take that and run with it, uh, but wait till the end of the video, I'll give you a link for where you can download the fully combined, uh, the combined template so you can use it as you need. Now, uh, usually in my campaigns, I'm doing one or two follow-ups, but these follow-ups are more than just, hey, making sure you got my email. Hey, are you still interested? Hey, what can I do? We're talking about, this is every follow-up is an additional opportunity to sell yourself and sell what you're trying to get. So. To convince them, here's something that works pretty well. Just a quick follow-up here. If it sounds like a good fit, let me know. We could bring some more some ideas. Here's a quick overview of why my content stands out. So this is somebody that's received, you know, 10, 20 guest post pitches a day. They're used to ignoring them because they assume that they're gonna be low quality. In their head, if every single pitch they got was high quality, no one in their right mind is gonna turn down premium content for free at scale. So you need to show that your content is premium. And if you catch someone on a good day, they might see this and they might read, they might see the buzzword 2000 word instead of 500. Well-researched, comprehensive instead of fluffy content. Double editorial review, something that someone's actually getting the minute details down, right? And not only that, but this is a page that might have some visibility if it gets published because you're doing so much work on the SEO front. So, Oftentimes, my second email has actually uh, generated more responses than my first because my first just kind of like opens, gets a foot in the door, but the second is really doing the selling. 
So that's that's kind of the the baseline framework. But like I mentioned, we do have some amazing strategies for getting all this stuff automated. There's nothing to sell. This is just stuff that I'm using that's, you know, ChatGPT based and some free Chrome extensions. And I put together a whole uh, template and guide. So if you go to pitchpanda.com backslash resources backslash guest post pitch template, if you're watching this on YouTube, just click on the link in the description, you're going to get access to this. So this is a very powerful Google Sheets template that you can copy and you can see all of the merge tags that I mentioned in my Google Sheet, first name, company name, full name, title, your company, buzzword one, buzzword two, buzzword three. All of these can be automatically pre-populated by ChatGPT. So you don't have to personalize any emails except these emails are going to look insanely personalized. And then you can just send them manually. You can use your favorite mail outreach tool to send them. But the, the thing is, you're going to, when you have good prospecting, you're going to get 60% open rates. When you have good personalized emails, you're going to get 15% reply rates. And from that 15%, at least half of them are going to turn into successful links. So, you know, if you figure out how to personalize in that scale, it doesn't matter what competition you're, you're in. It doesn't matter what niche you're in. If you do this consistently, you're going to get high, high quality links. And that's what it's all about. So this is basically the end of my video. Uh, if you have any questions for me, ajay at pitchpanda.com. And I welcome you to come check out our website. We're a link building platform. We provide services. You can get our monthly outreach service. You can uh, go access our you know, connections and, and get some suggestions. You can see we've got lots of users. We're growing. We're relatively new and we're hungry to build some awesome links for you. All right. So pitchpanda.com. Subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll be showing you not general information. I'm going to be showing you exactly how we do outreach. This is our template exactly, right? So if you want to use our template, go for it. Although I suggest editing a little bit because lots of people are going to see this. So you don't want to sound like everyone else. I'm going to show you our exact outreach formulas, exact outreach tools, our exact prospecting sheets. So we've gotten a lot of the outreach down to the science so we can focus on relationships and personalization and less on the mundane grunt work. So if that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me, ask me some questions, ajay at pitchpanda.com. And if you're looking at some services, pitchpanda.com is where to find them. Thanks a lot.